this question is related to the average memory access time. So assume that for a certain processor, a read request takes 50 nanoseconds on a cache miss. So if the cache the, is a miss, if it's a cache miss, that means main memory is being accessed. So 50 nanoseconds is the time that is being required to access the main memory and 5 nanoseconds on a cache hit. So if the data is found in the cache, then 5 nanoseconds are required. Suppose while running a program, it was observed that 80% of the processor's read requests resulted in a cache hit. That means 80% is the hit rate. So the average read access time in nanoseconds is what? So we know that the basic equation of what is the memory access time is given by hc plus 1 minus h into m. That means whatever is the hit rate multiplied by the time taken to access the cache. So c is the cache access time plus 1 minus h. 1 minus h would be the miss rate. That means if the data is not found in the cache. So 1 minus h into m where m is the miss penalty. Miss penalty involves the time taken to go to the cache, not finding the required address over there and then accessing the main memory. So the total time that would be required is given by the miss penalty. So here when 50 nanoseconds is given that is the miss penalty that means that the total time required to access the cache and then the main memory. The hit rate is 80% so we can say 0 0.8 and cache access time is given as 5 nanoseconds. So if we put all these values in this equation over here, so 0 0.8 into 5 plus this is the miss rate, 1 minus the hit rate. So 1 minus 0 0.8 which gives you 0 0.2 into the miss penalty 50. So the total average read access time would be 14 nanoseconds. Let's take another example where we are having two level caches. So access time of level 1 cache, level 2 cache and main memory are 1 nanosecond, 10 nanoseconds and 500 nanoseconds respectively. So when this kind of a data is given, it includes the time taken to access the previous level cache also. So if this is L1 and this is L2 and this is the main memory, so if the time for main memory is given as 500 nanosecond. It includes the time taken to access L1, uh, it being a miss over there, then going to L2, again a miss and then going to the main memory. So this 500 nanoseconds, it includes all of this if, if nothing else is given over there. The hit rates of level 1 and level 2 caches are 0 0.8 and 0 0.9. So what is the average access time of the six system? Ignoring the search time within the cache. So we know that the time taken, uh, the basic equation is hc plus 1 minus h into m. So first we go, it will be checked in level 1 cache. So h1, c1 because that is the hit rate of the first level cache and the time required to access the L1 cache. Now if it is not find, found over here in the first level cache, so 1 minus h1 times it will access the higher level. So again 1 minus h1 times now it will access the higher level. So again there is going to be access to the L2 cache. So h2 c2 plus 1 minus h2 times h2 is the hit rate of the second level cache, C2 is the time taken to access, access this L2 cache plus miss rate of the L2 cache times only it will go to the main memory. So it is given that H1 which is the hit rate of level 1 cache is 0 0.8, hit rate of L2 cache is 0 0.9, these are the access time of C1, C2 and the main memory. So when we keep this in the equation, so 0 0.8 times the data would be found in the level 1 cache 
this is the miss rate of level 1 cash so miss rate times now the next level would be accessed this is the hit rate of the level 2 cash so 0 0.9 into 10 because this is the access time of c2 now 0 0.1 is the miss rate of l2 cash so this these many times it will have to access the main memory so 0 0.1 into 500 and when we solve this we get 12.6 nanoseconds.